Yo, what up? Welcome to the podcast with your boy, the South Bows, holding it down 24-7. We got Big Lynch over here as well, and uh, we're missing a Donnie at the moment, but that's fine. Um, he's on his day off, and uh, we told you. We told you guys about the tunnels. We warned you a long time ago about the tunnels, not those tunnels, goofball. We're talking about the fast food tunnels. They're coming. I, know, I remember we had that discussion where they're going to bring you your food through tunnels. I met you my McDonald's where I grew up. They had a tunnel like uh, a, a, an above ground above the McDonald's tunnel where in the kitchen, if you ordered something for uh, for the drive through, the employee put it on a conveyor belt and super speed. It went from one end of the McDonald's to the other. To Was the it window. Could you see into the. Uh... Oh, yeah. When you were when you were sitting there in the restaurant, you looked up and you saw the little brown bag go across the, the ceiling. They got to do more. Of this. They got to do more of this. Yeah, because it's that adds like a good. That adds to my experience at the restaurant, you know, like seeing just fascinating, like putting yeah. fast food through a tunnel. Probably not. Yeah. Then you could play little games. You like sit there and look at it and be like, if one more bag goes across, I'm getting another junior chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a chicken Big Mac and a Big Mac if a bag that's comes big, up. That's right. The chicken Big Mac's a thing, right? That exists? Uh, I think it's happening. It did for a minute at least. Yeah, I think it's okay. happening in the States. But these tunnels, so yeah, we were talking about it because I think Taco Bell, because there's a lot of innovation going on in the fast food game right now. Like we, We're covering the hard-hitting. They have to. They're, they're going big. They're trying to cut down on, I don't think people really go into restaurant, like fast food restaurants anymore. Like when's the last time you really went in and sat down at a McDonald's? Bro, fast food restaurants are so crazy. Let me explain <laughs> something to you. I, had a, I have a coupon, like a big sheet of all these coupons, yeah. and I got one from Wendy's. And it's always fire that Wendy's one because Wendy's cause all, could always use like a little bit of whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, and good. every single every single coupon price on it was so not it. Oh, it every like single, wrong price. You're like someone's pranking. No, no. It. The, the, literally the coupon price looked like what it should be. And it's probably a bit expensive. <laughs> okay. Like the coupon price looked the most like like it was like get a get a a Dave uh cheeseburger trio for eight dollars and 39 cents and that's the coupon i'm like you want me to bring this coupon how much you mother is charging and then i was like probably like nine dollars and 29 cents <laughs> yeah but like eight dollars 39 cents i'm like that's how much you cost dude everything's on sale now but it's a lie you know yeah the ultimate the ultimate on sale but a lie but and be a hope, you know you would think this would make things cheaper too because it says here like wendy's has, has tried this out this company it's leading the way. This is it's called Piped Dream Pipe Dream Labs. Piped and, Dreams is your favorite fucking <laughs> video production company. Uh, exactly. Uh, they should have picked a better yeah. name. It's kind of like binge eater. Um, but they. Um, so what they're doing is essentially like uh, putting instant pickup technology at the restaurant. So you'd make the food. We wouldn't even have to be near them. We could we could drive into a parking lot. And then they move the food underground, which I have some problems with that, I have to say. I feel like we're already have issues with the food, like the sauce distribution, things happening. Now they're like, we're going to move. We're actually going to put it in there and move it underground. And then it, it goes to another portal located in the parking lot. So this is like the food leaves, like the, the order of food from Wendy's on yeah. your phone? Yeah, sure. You order on your phone. Yeah. And then... It they put it in a little portal and it goes and shoots across yeah. like fifteen blocks to a parking garage, which is the designated like food pickup portal. They put it for, like in a for, trolley. It's like in a trolley that goes super speed. They call it like. But regardless, I'm not yeah. concerned about the, the the actual how it gets there. It's sure. just when it gets at that place. Yeah, it comes out of the ground. Who is there? Just me. Just us. We're there to pick it up. Okay, is there someone else waiting for it? Are we like four different people and we're looking at the food portal and we're like, is that mine? Oh, is that <laughs> no, is it Wendy's? Oh, that's mine. They probably assign that's... you a number, but it, knowing how dumb people are, this this has a lot of issues. I feel like. Uh, so, but there will be like portal spots. Imagine getting robbed They'll... at the portal. That would suck, dude. That's the easiest thing to imagine about everything we're talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's the easiest thing yeah. to imagine. But the I'm burger curious. bandits, the burger bandits, yeah. Continue. So they the, the 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 food gets blasted to that portal and it comes out of the ground yeah. from this little like uh fast little transit system. Yeah. Hyperspeed, yeah. Yeah, as if like a McDonald's burger can last fucking getting blasted hyperspeed <laughs> and stopping really fast. And, uh, as if but, the bag is built correctly, too. Don't forget, like you ever get those bags where they fill it of up? Of course, yeah. And you're like, uh, come on, guys, can we maybe sort this out? Anyways, yeah. 
So you get um, a play. I don't even want to think about what it does to the fizziness of your drink. Oh. But then you, it comes out of the ground, and then like, what's there? What is the retrieval process? It comes up, up the into the, out of the the exit point, and you're sitting there with your cars if you're at the drive thru. What do you mean at the drive thru? Like, I thought you're not you're, at McDonald's. You're sitting I thought you're getting your McDonald's. Yeah, you're, McDonald's. I imagine you're sitting in your parking stall, and I, and right next to you is just like a like a like a pole, like some type of like recept somewhere where that's going to arrive. Like it's going to shoot up and it's going to like shoot up. And you're like, oh, there's my bag. Grab your bag. You think there's the room window. to park near there? This yeah, is for people. You park in, in a stall. Yeah, you park in a stall. This is like replacing you You order. You don't even have to go near the restaurant. You can just get your portal. And you're right. It, it probably will shoot out further away so they can pro they can theoretically serve people that are 10 blocks away and create little like points of. Uh, Sounds like they're just coming for Uber. I mean, kind of. You're right. I guess so. Uber this Eats is just like a do? company that's just like we could do Uber Eats way cheaper. People, there's a major market. Someone sat there and they're like, "There's a major market of fat asses that me that <laughs> want to eat fast food and they don't want to go get it. They want it brought to them." Except now, Uber is. You know, four ninety nine delivery fee plus eight ninety nine taxes and other fees. People are like, let's get rid of that. That's there's enough people out there that want fast food delivered to them. So this, so do you know what their you know what their long term goal is? What to make hyper logistics? They call it hyper logistics. Uh, they want the ability for consumers to receive goods in under ten minutes for less than a dollar and send them back just as easily across the nation by the end of the decade. This is big. This is going to change everything. Makes sense. The, tu the tunnels are coming. The, the mini tunnels, and, it, and they said it's pretty easy to make. It's just like little PVC pipes. That's it. Well, it depends how big my order is, bro. I mean, knowing us, unfortunately, we probably need two trolleys just to bring everything over. Maybe five trolleys. That's where you get Merc. That's going to be like, oh, you need another trolley. Surge pricing, mm. yeah. Our, our, grid's all, our grid's all bunged up right now. It's too many people. The problem is, is that we do need this because... I know from first hand experience, I'm not a big online shopper. I don't I like to go and and buy what I'm looking for unless it's like a super convenient Amazon situation. My partner is the exact opposite. And um the amount of packages that are showing up at, at my house daily. That's lit. That's the best part. It, no, you know what's even more sick about it? She she loves it and then she's like she returns them like people would buy like a lot of stuff and then just go return it like that what they don't want. And she's like, oh, I'm making money. Let me know you're not making money. Why? Because she's returning and it's getting like money back. It's like a game. Back. Yeah, she's like ordering all this stuff. And then she's like, oh, I want this. I want that. Yeah. And then she's like, and then we go back and return some of it. Like, we'll have to physically go over. And she's it. like, yo, we just got 90 she's bucks. Like, oh, I just made 150 bucks. And I'm like, no, you didn't. But sure. <laughs> that's like a whole mental gymnastics I know that's that going feeling. on. I know the feeling. Do you feel that way? Do you feel that when yeah, you go and return something? That. Sometimes. Sometimes. Like, oh, I just made money. And you're like, no. Well, sometimes you put in that little bit of effort to return a thing that like you were like, am I going to return this? Maybe it was like 48 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm going to spend like half a day like going and getting the package and blah, blah, blah. And then you do it and you get that 48 bucks. You're like, here we go, baby. Yeah. There we go. go. And then you're like, what am I going to what am I spend this 48 bucks on right now? McDonald's McDonald's tunnel food. No, it's not another package. It's got to be another package. <laughs> it's got to be another. Yeah, another it's got to be something back on Amazon. It's not like uh, you can't take that money and spend it somewhere else. That's locked in. That's Amazon money now. I like that. I mean, you know what? They're coming for Amazon. I, you know what? They're probably going to have be paid by Amazon. They're about to. They're about to take over this. The last mile, you know, like in logistics, how they define the supply chain, and it's like everything gets somewhere, and then once it gets to the city, you need to be able to distribute the last mile. No, it's like see, a whole. Where they're fucking up. I almost invested in this actually last well, year. Where they're fucking up fast food and where they're going to end up going eventually, it only makes sense that they will. The robots are making this and putting it in a tunnel. No, they're going to release a product that will be for you to make at home in your air fryer. I don't want that. Doesn't matter if you want it. I don't want the it. The people want it. Who wants that? You want that? That's, that's what they're going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be like a Big Mac kit. And it's literally three minutes in the air fryer scenario. You're describing the worst part of the food game to me right now. When like, uh, it's like going to KBB bar, you know, going to Korean barbecue. It's like, I don't, I don't come here to have, to make my food. This is not what I'm here for. 
I don't want to have uh, to. I don't want to bring a mirror over to the house and make a mirror. Can you make this McDonald's burger for me in the air fryer? No, that's the thing. It's literally it's, it's the easiest thing. You're gonna get a McDonald's bun, which you can't buy. You can't buy that. You're gonna get the Big Mac sauce, and you just gotta make your two patties. I don't like that. That's it. I'm out. That's fine. You say you're out until you go to someone's house and you, they have fries, and they literally make a huge basket of McDonald's fries for nothing in the air fryer. Then you're gonna be like, whoa. You made these? And they'll be like, well, Ronald did, but yeah. I like, I, you know what? Call me old school. That's for the, uh, not Zoomers. What's the next age? The Alphas. Gen Alpha. <laughs> is that real? You just make that up. No, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. They're called Gen Alphas? Why do they get such a crazy name like that? You think Gen Alpha is a sick name? I mean, it sounds like they're all Andrew Tate fans. I just think like, dude, <laughs> it sounds yeah, like they're all... Yeah, the way I see it is like if you have to say your generation's alpha, bro, it's not that alpha. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, never met a generation, an alpha generation. They're peacocking that had to say they're the alphas. You know, considering how woke we are, bro, but we boomers, is, like, boomers are fucking serious, right? <laughs> boomers, see, boomers, boomers are favorite. serious because boomers like they don't, they don't, they, they, they don't. I don't think they want to be a boomer. Like, I think it's gotten around, like, if I'm to, bro, I called my dad a boomer or my mom a boomer. Yeah. They get so mad as if I called them, like, I used the N-word on them. They have the best, they, they're living the best generation. They got to have it all. I tell them that, brother. They, they have it that. all. They, they have it all. hate that shit. Why? They're winning. You don't, th I think that's that Sorry to say. Yeah. Sorry to say. Millennials. Well, it's, we suck. It's just, it's just so ugly. Yeah. I see behavior online sometimes. I see people behaving online. I'm like, fuck, these are my people. And first and foremost, I don't really use like the terms like millennials. Oh, you're born from this time to that time. It's just like, it's a vibe. You know, a boomer. You know, a boomer. You could be you could be a zoomer and you're actually a boomer. Like there is it's more to it. But uh millennials, like I look at like uh like Miranda Sings. Remember when Miranda Sings had to apologize for everyone listening, homie guys don't follow this shit because you're normal people. But it was a YouTuber. And she did some weird shit, and she apologized. And her apology, her apology, she took out the fucking ukulele. Man, yeah, the ukulele. And like a girl playing like a little ukulele to apologize is just the most millennial ass shit. It was so my people. Um, That's embarrassing for us. Turn off bro, skibbity toilet, TikTok riz party, yeah, in <laughs> Ohio. Like this is fucked up. What's going on over here, bro? <laughs> yeah. We got a weird, broken generation. They're pandemic people. Yeah, they got problems. They're literally pandemic people. Have you even watched an episode of Skibbity Toilet? No. How do you work in this internet space and not get curious about the hands-down most popular thing that exists? It's literally right under Mr. Beast. I haven't come across my desk, desk yet. Sometimes you have to go seek it out. When I feel like Yahoo.com ain't gonna write about <laughs> Skibbity Toilet, bro. You don't think so? I think they will. <laughs> what do you mean? Is it on Reddit? Yahoo.com just take just mines Reddit and writes articles. No, I don't think Skibbity Toilet. This person really on Reddit. didn't go to their went to their friend's wedding and and they had to pay ten thousand dollars. Here is what they said, and it's like just a Reddit. It's just like a Reddit mm -hmm. post written as an article. I'm like this is where we're at now. <clears throat> There's no shame in the game. It's like AI or. Mine Reddit for your information if you'd like. And that's how we're going to write articles now. Human that mining Reddit has been going on for 10 years. People just notice it now. But that's literally. But now, I they, used do to watch, know, now they do it too, like very overtly. It's like there's Reddit accounts now. But I'd like watch a lot of YouTubers and I'd like watch their videos. And I would be like, this is a Reddit post. And they're speaking in top comment. That happened for years. So interesting you say that because uh, do you trust the Internet? Like, do you yes. think you, you do? Well, depends. Well, it's funny. Everything's case by case with me, pal. <laughs> okay. Everything's case by case. Okay, what about this? What about this poor guy who got absolutely dunked on for uh, for his Instagram post? Some gentleman from uh, from Canada posted a hack. Waterloo. Food hack. Waterloo. He posted a food hack. And he's like, oh. That's right. We got a Waterloo in Canada. That's right. Holding it down. And he, uh, he, he uh, put a video up of him being like, "Free, how you got free food? And like he went to food banks meant for students. And he was like in the video talking about he saves hundreds of bucks. And I, you know, he's not, he's not, he's not, I don't know if he's Canadian because the way 
he's choosing bucks in such a specific way there because that's a very Canadian way to talk about money. Just so everyone's listening, because I don't think they know exactly what we're talking about. It's it's this dude who is he's there in a university of uh, a Laurier sweater, and he's talking about how he saves money all the time, and it's him going to the student section of a grocery store where there's basically like donated food by the grocery store and he goes and he grabs fruit and stuff and he says he comes here all the time and he saves tons of money by getting this except the people that posted it said that he was a td canada bank data scientist and he got dragged about, online this was everywhere yeah was and he was earning about 100k online so if you got served this you would see this this brown dude who allegedly makes 100k a year being like I go to where the students get their donated food at the grocery store and I take whatever I want from that. Which, if he were a student, he would be allowed to go do that. Yeah. But allegedly on this post that are shared, uh, he's a, a, a data scientist at TD Canada Bank making 100K a year. And then there was another update and they said he got fired. Someone had emailed TD and they, they posted a, like a screen grab of <clears throat> him them being like, this person doesn't work here. Well, but like, oh, he got fired. Thank God. Everyone was up in arms about this. Only to find out he's fighting back now. And this is, this is the damage has been done to poor, um, what's, I can't even say his name, uh, to, uh, to our guy here, you know, unfortunately he said that it's, it's all misinformation. He doesn't work for TD. In fact, that's uh, Prajapati. That's right. You're right. Uh, he wanted to create informational videos about his life in Canada. So he's, he's living in Canada, being a student. Good for him. And um, it looks like uh, this video really fucked his life up. <laughs> because well, he, you're saying he can't go online now because people are. Uh, but also, like, uh, I think brown people are getting a lot of racism in Canada lately. Yeah. Because there are a lot of brown people in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, we got some bump in neighborhoods in Canada. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think like, uh, people are, are, are just people are, it's a racist comment section. The comment section that <laughs> yeah. was, of the yeah. social media that we're talking about good. tends to be, tends to be crazy. Like, uh, can you imagine how it inundated his, his everything? Like his life must have been so fucked. Like this is a big microscope, like to be put on you when you're just you're just out here having fun yeah he should be making an online diss track yeah he's trying to like just help everyone out with some free information here and he's all wrong like you know when you're a student listen i had some struggle meals i had lots of struggle meals when i was a student you know um i didn't know if i, I wasn't going to food banks but i was eating crab dinner and, and tuna bro even tuna. when the food was good you were having struggle meals dude. <laughs> you make sure every meal is a struggle yeah. meal <laughs> well <laughs> well this guy he had to go he had to get off he had only four thousand so he four thousand four thousand views. Uh, oh, I thought you were saying four thousand followers. I'm like, that's pretty good. He only got four thousand four thousand views, and someone ripped it and put it on like Twitter, and it got probably hundred million impressions. Like that's just this guy. He he wanted to be, he wanted to be popping like that, but not like this. And he and he was accessing legitimate program by his university, and he worked he did work at TD, but he only worked there as an intern for a couple months. It okay. all checks out to me. I, I believe. Oh yeah, he's getting his master's degree. He's allowed to go get this food at the grocery store, but he posted it up and he never said like, hey, I'm a student. And the people that reposted it for clickbait were like, look at this. Yo, this random brown dude posing as a student <laughs> guy taking our food. Yo, what fam? And uh, that's the internet. The internet I love that. It was like yep. a perfect. He never got paid Canadian dollars, $98,000. No, that's just that. That apparently is just a number they pulled from the median salary online. Sounded kind of low. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to lie. 98k for a data scientist like come on so but td bank apparently emailed people back being like he no longer works at td that's pr and control. it's like bro yeah but like there's like spelling mistakes in the email and stuff <laughs> it's like it's probably all a lie that's the thing it's this whole thing is just manufactured to drive clicks it's like here's a brown man who's uh not from canada not from our country and he's a student here and this is a hot topic uh immigration in general is a very big topic in canada right now for you americans out there we're also having an election probably in a year um the hype isn't quite what it's like over there obviously you know you guys 
So everything's not a bit bigger over there, but it's pretty hype over here. The con- yeah, it, it is popping off, and this whole immigration issue is is sort of front and center here because we have an affordability issue in Canada. Like trying to buy a house is, I mean, becoming next to impossible. I'm sure you guys all feel this inflation. You know, five percent or more right now. Are we always this close to them in terms of like the talking points for people who will be elected? Like all the talking points now are like the Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, where the money's going, immigrants. Like, is that is that Canada? Has Canada always been like that? Because I swear, like even like the Middle East, I don't remember that coming up a lot as elections came up. But then again, there was not like there was a well, I mean, I've been alive for wars in the Middle East, but it was not like. I think I think right now specifically in Canada, what's driving this sort of huge, which seems like a lot of like uh, participation in it, because you see a lot of clickbaiting online about it, and even you see us in American news, which is usually the opposite way. Usually we get all the American political news, but like our 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 our, our politics is showing up and going viral. Well, like USA ate up the Freedom Convoy. Oh, they love that. Exactly. That's you know yeah. why Tr- Trudeau gets major clicks in the USA. He does. People don't like it. People fucking they fucking every time I go there, they're like, "So sorry about Trudeau, bro." <laughs> and I'm like, "Dog, he is at my house for Passover." <laughs> that is a fact, dude. Dude, Trudeau's at my house for Passover, bro. I know. Look at him. Now. He sucked my brother's tits. Back then he was uh he was very popular. Now it's not looking good. Back then hoes didn't want him. Now he's hot, they all on him. This <laughs> he does look a little unhinged these days, but um Bro, the a hundred percent. That's less like, hair, I think, like no haircut. Like I looked, I'm like, this guy but looks even like he's then, going through po- it right now. Political leader, the only person who could not be affected, you have to be so old, you have to be Joe Biden. Everyone else, mentally, it looks like it's been so brutal. And that man is just like on cruise control. He's not really like, it, he doesn't seem like the most alert and aware guy. Well, I, I, he is um, like, but when you are, uh, when you, exactly, but when you're young like Trudeau and like you're fully aware and alert and like your kids come home, they're probably like, Dad, everyone at school said you're huh. And your wife left you, you know? Yeah. He's yeah, going like through I, it. And, and and everyone's mad at you for all these like extra taxes. Like, everyone's everyone. mad. This is this is the uh, I would say the most angry I've seen people. And this is why this guy's video is in Canada, it's like the affordability issue, I think, is the main issue right now in general. And so he looks like, pretty angry too, though, doesn't he? Doesn't Trudeau look angry these days? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh watch him step down in Calgary, but I saw him do an interview here in Alberta. He was he was he he had like extra juice for the crowd. He was not happy about it um he was what he was like getting mad back that's when i thought like, he was unhinged i saw i saw him and he's like hadn't got a haircut his like hair is in like a weird in-between state like not that i have hair but i know what that feeling when you've like maybe should have got a haircut two weeks ago but you're I've still rocking seen, it i've literally seen trudeau people going up to them they're like hey justin what are here how are doing? and he's like you don't have the answer sway you ain't got the answers. Like i literally see him like with that energy like yeah. you ain't got the answers sway yeah no he's it's 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 this affordability thing is truthfully i mean we talk about we talk about it all it, it goes together this guy gained drag for different reasons he was doing us he's trying to do everyone a favor he's like here you can get a hundred dollars of free food save yourself hundreds of bucks every month because you really every, hate that he said bucks eh? it's just very intentional i know what he was thinking when he did that when he came up with the content strategy with his video he sat down and wrote it out and he's like i gotta say bucks because i'm in canada and bucks is the way you say it and i'm like bro don't say 100 bucks to me don't ever say. Oh, you think that's what it was? You think he was like, I'm going to make this sound extra Canadian. 1,000%. You don't think so? Like, 100 you think bucks that was, like, is that the most Canadian like, thing you can say. Any Americans saying that? They they say bucks, don't they? They don't say bucks? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I feel it's Canadian. For sure, me. they're like some million bucks. I don't think so. Well, how would you, if you had to, you, how would you spend a million bucks? I don't think they're saying that. I think it's Canadian. I don't think they're saying that. You think they're saying bucks? First of all, I just don't hear anyone say bucks. I say someone... bucks sometimes, and I think it's because I'm Canadian. I'm like, oh, I got 10 bucks, or here's 10 bucks. Or oh, yeah, bucks. yeah, 10 yeah. bucks for sure. But once you put 100 to sure. the table, it's like, you can't say yeah, bucks. Yeah, I know it like... says 100 bucks. What is this, a fucking game show? Yeah, it's, it's $100, okay? Like, come on. Let's, let's be real. 
100 bucks is aggressive. Hundreds, okay. Save hundreds of bucks. Yeah, hundreds of bucks. You don't think that's no, a You got decision? five bucks? You got a buck, two bucks, yeah. five bucks, it's ten like bucks? It's like shorthand, you know? Like five bucks, ten bucks, it's a shorthand. It's like, oh, I got two so you bucks. Got, you, got a, you got a buck, you got two bucks, you got five bucks, you got ten bucks, after you got that, $15. Everything after that is <laughs> You got dollars. $20. Everything in dollars after that. You do sure. 20 bucks, you do 20 bucks, like... Only if you're giving only your it to closest your plug. friends and you're only if you're giving it to your plug. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You're giving <laughs> it to your plug, and he's also your friend. Yeah, he gets a, twenty bucks. You're gonna play a little quick round of like Little Big Planet, maybe, and get high. We're not sure, but that's that's one of the bucks. I got a question. You ever say this with money? You ever like, oh yeah, I got twenty American. Yes, that's how I describe dollars. Donnie, Donnie gets so mad at me when I say that. When Why? I say American, what does he want? USD. Yeah, yeah. He wants to say USD. No, he, he's like, he's like, it's not American. It's United States dollar. He's like, you could say you have 100 US. And I'm like, oh, I can't say I have 100 American. This guy. Don <laughs> this guy what's this deal? Come on. Like, what's yeah. he talking about? He's lucky they've come out with a surgery. Put, put, that, put that on the paper. I'll bring that up next time his house is here. <laughs> yeah, be like, yeah. Dollars? yeah. Just be like, you make 100 American. No, even better. Oh, he's going to listen to this. Yeah. He never misses an episode. I was going to say, you could just be American like. Dollars. You could just say, you could just use it in a sentence, be like 100 American. And he'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> he already does that to me about 10 times a podcast I, I see him like i know you guys can't see him i can see his i can see his short face sitting there and i'm like shifty eyed i'm yeah, fucking shifty eyed with his like pocket knife playing with his pocket knife and then i'll say something he's, 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 i hear the breathing like i hear the change in his breathing and i'm like oh he disapproves uh um, bro he loves disapproving he probably liked this kitchen though uh talking about drew barrymore's kitchen of course Please. She's Millennial queen Drew Barrymore. The most relatable person on the internet. What do you think of that? So uh, to everyone listening, by the way, she posted her kitchen. Okay. And her kitchen is just like, it's fine. Mm. It's just like a regular kitchen. All and your everyone, favorite YouTubers have nicer kitchens than this. That's for sure. Yes. 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 Every, every like every like pop and YouTuber that I know has a crazier kitchen than this. Her kitchen looks like if you went to an Airbnb and you're like, oh, the kitchen's fine. Um, it's just a regular kitchen. Well, she's got a, like white, a, a white appliance is a, is a decision. White appliances are not very common anymore. It's coming back. In, it's, it's coming back smeg- into style now. I guess, yeah, actually. if you get a white appliances by Smegma. <laughs> I don't need that. What's that company called? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Fancy <laughs> no, that's kitchen. A Don, the fa- joke. No, the fancy kitchen company. Like Wolf don't Appliances. Don't get so bashful when someone said Smegma, bro. W- wolf Appliances? No, does that sound like Smegma to you? Yeah. Wolf? Miele? Does that sound like Smegma? A wolf is the sickest one. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what Smegma is. Smegma Appliances? Anyways, keep, 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 keep talking about. Uh, well, no, why don't you? Don't, a- don't be Googling <laughs> Smegma Appliances, bro. <laughs> How <laughs> uh, do you think that's gonna go? That's your favorite production company. Uh, the company I was talking about is Smeg. I don't know Smeg. I, I'm not up on that. That must. You be don't nice. know Smeg? No, I only. I'm. I don't. They're not on my radar now. Bro, we saw. We were watching like a video, and there was a Smeg toaster in a YouTuber's kitchen, and you Hold were on. like, "Yo, a, Smeg, serious." A toaster, or we're we talking yes. a pl- like a real appliance, like an oven. Like well, Smeg range. also makes. They make they make f- like fridges and stuff, Smeg. It's the stuff that looks like it's from the fifties. It's oh. like super plain, super chilling. It like, looks like it's from the fifties. It looks like it's mad old, but it's actually that brand new shit. Some boomer shit, yeah, yeah. That's for boomers. That's made for people that are over fifty. It's not for us. I don't think the boomers got this type of style, bro. <laughs> really? It's this like Pleasantville like- style. This is like alpha millennial. You know what Smeg is. I don't know what Smeg is. You're thinking of another person. Maybe it's your Dude, other cousin. I would have never looked at a toaster and been like, oh, wow, Smeg. It's a Smeg toaster. And you're the type of guy to be like, ah, bro. I'm telling you, this is not me. I don't know what you're talking about. This is not me. And I hate their font. Busted. Sorry. I'm out. I'm Bust- out you, don't like, you don't like Smeg? No, I don't like the, uh, this new style of font. They do this on cars, too, where they take the let the, they like put uh, huge spaces between the letters. I they yeah. spell the word. I'd rather a badge. And I do not want like the, Have you seen that style? Everything is like written out and like super, super uh, spaced out, spaced out between each letter. And it's my least favorite style of 2024 and 23. Like all the new Toyotas have that. All the hybrids have that. Or, or, sorry, all the uh, 
This toaster has that now. But do you fuck with Smeg? I don't know what it is. You're lying. This is a what lie. do you mean you don't know what it is? Didn't you, you just talk, you're talking about it right now? You obviously looked at it. Oh yeah, do I fuck with it? Um, no. You yeah. Then you see how expensive it is, and then you're like, oh no, okay, I fuck no, with no. It. I don't like. I don't like. They, why they're writing their brand so large on all everything? I don't need that. Because it's throwback. That's not to throw back to the good old days when America was no. fucking great, bro. Sure, but this is like I don't need until to we had people jacking fucking groceries for. Think free. about your kitchen. You want you want your kitchen appliance to have this giant lettering on it. It's the most like bold thing. You My can do. kitchen, bro. For here, let me do a little exercise. You're not close your eyes. You're not really watch this. Watch this. Close oh, your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. Picture my kitchen. Picture it right now. Wrong. There's a TV in there. Where was my TV? You're gonna sit here and picture a kitchen. Where's my kitchen TV? Why wouldn't you put one there? You don't have one. You mean I don't have one, bro? No. You, you don't think I gain? You gain, but you don't have a okay. TV in your kitchen. I have two TVs in my kitchen, bro. No. See. No. See what? What? Oh, you're just mad that my living room also touches my kitchen. I hate that. I did that on purpose, bro. I, I hate that. You're so fucking, you're so purpose. 2024. Give me my kitchen in a separate room where I can make a little breakfast nook. It's separate from everything I could do. Everything could be done there. And then I can go, if I want to go eat my in my living room, go ahead and eat in the uh, in the TV room if I'd like to. But separate. See, I love, I love prepping in the kitchen with my eyes on the prize. No, that's easy. I like having a TV over there while I'm in the kitchen. No, I like eat, get in. You know what? You have enough TVs. Get a smaller TV, put in the kitchen, and make that the kitchen TV. That's the news TV. But what are you doing? So I'm curious. What are you doing? You're entertaining guests. Where are they? They're in your kitchen. No, they're in my no, no. They want to be in your kitchen. No, everyone always wants to be in the kitchen. I, I, the kitchen's always the focal point of every hangout. Every time you have that's guests, why you gotta or protect, whatever. that's why you got to protect the kitchen at all times. You got to put it in a separate room. That's why you got to make the kitchen and the designated chilling room the same space. You know where I'd rather hang out with people? That's why I got rid of my dining room table, bro. I don't have a, I don't have a fucking dining room table in my house. <laughs> That's the you reason You want to sit down? Sit down at the bar. <laughs> sit down on the fucking island, dude. I got the uh, bar style seating there. Listen to me. You're going to come around to this. You're going to you're going to understand soon that having a separate kitchen, if anywhere I'm going to chill with someone, I'd rather chill in the pantry with them. No one's chilling in your pantry, though. Of course they are. That's for all the No shot. Is. 100%. I'm going to put TV in my pantry. You know what? I'm going to change the game so hard. I'm getting a pantry that you can walk into. I'm putting a TV in there. I think that's totally normal. That's, I encourage that. No one does that. That's change. That's that's new wave shit. If my if I had a walk-in pantry, yeah. I don't I have a normal pantry. If I had a walk-in pantry. You don't have a pantry. We know this already. So I do. No, no. You have, you have covers. You just can't put. You just you have a pantry. No. But you can't put a TV in Like there. if I'm looking at pictures of pantries. Uh, no one's like, oh, there's there's Harley's pantry. It's not See, showing. The problem, up. the problem with uh the TVs that we're talking about, yeah, is we are very quickly heading towards spatial computing on a level where the TV comes with you. Like everything that you ever saw demonstrated the Apple Vision Pro. Apple cut they cut production. What are you talking about? Not, we're not even that close yet. No, I heard everything. They're not making them anymore because of the drop in demand, the sudden drop. But everything that you saw, if you watched any demonstration of spatial computing on the Apple Vision Pro, that could be done with the Facebook, uh, with the Meta Quest 3. Okay. And the Quest 3 is 649. Do you still have to log in but, with your Facebook account? I'm pretty sure you do. All right. That's, I'm out on that. That friction causes me to be up and continue. Yeah. Don't you have a Facebook account? Uh, not, 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 not because I want to. But you have one. I have one for I, people for a lot of people that's like they don't want to do it. I don't want it. But Get once you're when you're literally already on the grid. No. Now you could just connect it to your device here. It's connected no. to like your no. phone. It's connected to six phones you don't even use. Now I'm bringing fit. Now I'm, bring, now I'm bring, No, I, I'm, I'm pretty like buttoned up with how I keep my electronics. Yeah, I, you're buttoned up. Eh? I don't need to. Have, uh, I promise you, whoever <laughs> could be buttoned up with their electronics, yeah. like knows what the fuck they're talking about, would yeah. never say they're buttoned up oh, with their electronics. <laughs> they, they're the hacker on the planet or like an, yeah. uh, or like an online security guy. Yeah. Who's like, yeah, you're buttoned up. For sure there would be, huh, but <laughs> <laughs> This guy's pretty buttoned up. Yeah, you're pretty buttoned up. So tell, tell me how you're buttoned <laughs> up, because like, you never changed your profile picture since I 2003. I don't connect my social media accounts to anything, including my face. What are you talking about, bro? I'm you telling have, you. You have your phone. I don't you have your phone. I don't fall for the, the, the ploys this and connecting everything. This guy, I don't. You're, already, you're so fucked. I just, purchased, I just purchased a new phone. 
You don't even know where I'm doing now. You, you're off it. I'm. Oh, what do you have on your phone? Nothing on your phone. Is that what you're doing? Is that yeah. you're telling me right now? Yeah, I'm getting a flip phone. No, you're not. I'm getting a dumb phone. Yeah. No, you're not. I swear to God. And would you also gonna have a smartphone too? The smartphone will be uh, sometimes. <laughs> it will be. It will be. Uh, I'm gonna switch my my SIM card. Well, dude, I'm fine. You're getting a Motorola Razor. They don't sell them. I tried. What do you out. mean they don't sell them? I saw it recently. Where I, I can't find them. I saw. I literally saw an ad that the Razor was coming back or something. No, they make like a books. smartphone Razor. It's not. I want like the old school Razor. Yeah, me too. I want that. Yeah, I'm I would take move. a dumb phone. Oh, I'm, I want to. There's a company that makes specifically this type of phone. It's called, I don't know if they call it dumb phone or they call it like, uh, like you could, all I really want on my phone. But the second someone texts me on my dumb phone, I'd be like, fuck off, dude. Good. You want me, you call me. Yeah. Not Once you get that. the dumb phone, you call me, bro. I'm not reading your text. I'm not writing back with like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not pressing five, three through. times yeah. to fucking get the letters in. I have to tell, I'm, I'm, I'm dead fucking serious about this. I will be, I'll, I, the smartphone shows its utilities, but I don't, I want it all gone. All I want to be able but to you do. you still is, have a Facebook account. No, barely, dude. Barely, barely. There's no barely. There's no <laughs> barely, barely. There is. There's a all you in. need, but. But barely, all you need to do is barely have a Facebook account and barely connect it to the Quest, and I'm you're good. You know what? And by the way, I I actually think it's the ugliest thing about the Quest by yeah, far, hands down. And I think friction. it's a great, I think it's a great thing to protest by not getting one for sure. Also, so I back you on that. Yeah. But having said all that, um, maybe get your wife to connect hers or something to it, <laughs> <laughs> because it is it why is do actually. They need, why do they need me? What's the what's the value add for me for adding my Facebook account? Why? They just want well, to collect uh, more you know information why? about me. You know That's why? It. Exactly. The the Quest, but the point I was making, the Quest 3 compared to the Apple Vision Pro, it's it's one of the best bang for buck purchases that exist in the technology space in terms of like fun entertainment, the spatial computing, all that stuff, the pass through camera, all that stuff is incredible on the Quest 3. And why is it why is the price so good? Cuz like, yeah, you're the product. You don't you don't know that I'm teetering on the edge lately. You don't even realize this, huh? I, you have what? You haven't picked up the cues. I'm yeah, so close. I've been, hey, bro, look, I've been seeing the fucking black on black Canadian flag hats you've been wearing. I know about. I've been, I've been picking up on the cue. <laughs> yeah, I've been picking up on the cue. Listen, uh, I'm, I'm not yeah. gathering the cue. I'm teetering on the edge of just completely disconnecting. Like there's a there's a, a better than non zero chance that I'm going to buy a couple acres in the middle of like Canada. Disconnect completely. Big Q vibes, bro. Like disconnect completely, and just just sort of take a break from it all. Only record the podcast, but have no information. Have no. Oh, That's such for- a great time to have a quest. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'm gonna be outside, um, driving my four by fours, and um, you see people cooking with the quest. You see like, what they do? Listen to me. Listen to me. They have all these little timers over all their food as it's happening, and they have their recipe that it stays in the kitchen and stuff. I see all. I see all that, and I've decided that I. I I'm. I'm more scared. Like I like. Here's what I'm saying. I'm teetering on the edge. Like I'm already. I'm very skeptical of Bluetooth these days. Like I'm like oh, I don't need. Like why do I need headphones attached to my head? You're just not a gamer, right? Eh? No, nah, bro. You're just not a gamer, right? Eh? I'm off it. I'm You're off just it. not. This is not a gamer anymore. What I'm happened to you, it. dude? I'm off it. What happened to you, bro? I gotta, I gotta remember. You used to have an Xbox, a PlayStation, a chocolate shake, and a vanilla shake. Yeah, selling cheese some toast. weed. Yeah, cheese now, toast. what are you doing, dude? Now I'm about to go analog, bro. It's over. I'm about to go analog, eh? Give me motor roll razor. Analog, yeah, yeah. You have to send me a fucking pigeon if you want to get a hold of me, dude. I saw a TikTok of a car. This guy gets in his car, this Chinese electric car, mm-hmm. and does all these things. Presses all these buttons. This touch screen shit. All these sensor things. Everything. The car looked like it was fucking going to break in three weeks. Yeah, you can't. I, if anything, if I want analog, you know what I would comfortably drive is a, a 90s shit box car. Yeah. I would comfortably love. The only thing I need is po- I would like power steering. That's all. Yes. Everything else, I'm fucking good. I wow. want I want to turn knobs. I want to flip switches. Mm-hmm. I want to press buttons. I'm done with the touch screen garbage in these cars. Yeah, especially because you drive a Ford and the Ford stuff is like, that's just begging to be broken at all times. Bro, it's, <laughs> it's, so, like, it's so goofy. So glitchy. And well, yeah, I made the mistake when I had the F-150, which I loved. You should have bought that car. Yeah, I should have bought two of them. I had two of them. And one was a Limited. But my F-150 Limited was 70000 oh, I had an Canadian. argument with your dad. You, I thought you only had the, the Limited one. You bought another truck after that? I had a Limited. The black and silver one. 
yeah but um I and then the, sick. yeah then the next year or two years later i got the the newer one you really um, did. and i should have picked up on it because i said well i had a four-year lease and i'm tight with the guy and he hits me up after two years trying to buy and it. he's like he's like bring that truck in let me give you the new one what color I'm was like, the other okay one? They're both black. They looked identical. Okay. The only thing that was different was the interior. The first one that you're thinking of where it said like limited on it's the side. You was, got the what used beige. to be the, the what my favorite truck was, was the F-150 Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. That that, that's that's the limited, limited. Yeah. But no, the Harley Davidson, they do it every three years or something. Every three years, the limited is the Harley Davidson sure version. Truck, yeah. yeah. And, and it was. It was actually the best. And um, so I, both of them were limited, just two years apart. Okay. I think a, a 2017 and a 2019. Yeah. And I love those. And yeah, those things sell for way more now. They were like 68,000 then. Trucks are. They would fucking kill it. And I can't fucking buy them, but I can't get mad at that. Cause then I'd also be like, I should remember Bitcoin. <laughs> but the, like these trucks, like when I, when I came back, I was like, okay, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to get a truck. I'll get uh, an Explorer. And my mentality was like the Explorer. The F-150 was great, so the Explorer is going to be great because I love the F-150. It really surprised me. And I got the Explorer, and I got a top-of-the-line, like, SRT model, all that shit or whatever. It drives really fast, but it felt, you know, sitting it's pretty luxurious mm -hmm. and spacious. Less and when I, got, yeah. when I got in it, it was, uh, it was pretty luxurious, mm -hmm. and it was pretty spacey, but not as luxurious as the F-150. That's obviously, That's obviously not car. a space. And you know what? It is their flagship car because they let you know, dude. They sell Because all the shit that ha man, there were so many things that happened with this car that the F one fifty never. They the F one fifty is their boy. Yeah, they take care of their boy. Yeah, they, they fuck with it. The F one fifty is Darren, bro. <laughs> yeah. The F one fifty is Darren. Yeah. The Explorer's Lisa. <laughs> Just everyone listening, my family, my 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 mother, my mother loves my brother. And, and me and my sister were like, we second fiddle. It's cool, though. He's a baby. He needs it more than we do. Me and my sister, we're good without it. We're good. We're good. But he's the F-150. They take care of that. Yeah, he got the photo shoot with the, in the barn with the Coca-Cola box. Come on. Exactly. The F-150 is getting the photo shoot in the barn with the Coca-Cola box. I'll throw that know? image up here if I can find it. Uh, maybe. What's the Explorer doing? Skipping school to go work at the bookstore, make some money on the side. Glitching. Yeah, taking mushrooms. Yeah, taking mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that the F one fifty, the Explorer was was great, but like the 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 technology in it, the touch screen, there's like a big, uh, like uh, tablet there, right in the middle yeah. of of the car, right in the middle, a big a big tablet that you know, because in, in in the Tesla, which you know I used to think was so hype, the Tesla, the sexiest part is that big tablet, and then so they go and they make they put this tablet there, but this tablet is so ugly and thick. This is a tablet you can get for forty dollars on Wish, one hundred percent. It's like a it's like a Samsung fucking. <laughs> Not even a Samsung. What is it's it? like a What's Sam the, like, an LG. It's, it's like, like an right, LG bro, tablet. That no bro, it's like it, it's a Sam's hung. <laughs> yeah. It's Sam, a hung well, Sam. Yeah. It's a hung Sam. <laughs> it's hung Sam tablet. <laughs> uh, but this this thing is also like the center point of all the things. Like if this tablet doesn't boot up, kind of. Then like the radio's not working, speaker phone's not working, the back camera's not working. The many times I reverse and I have a blue screen when I put put the car in reverse. But this is what's gonna happen with cars. It's there's too much technology in the cars. And I feel like someone's gonna come around and start making at more analog cars because they're computers now. Now they're so much more complicated to fix. We're ready for an analog car right now. People would I think people would eat it up. Hundred percent. I think people would do. I'm that. trying to buy a phone. I'm trying to buy a phone that does nothing. I just want to be able to call me. I don't even want to be able to text you. I want to, I want texting to be so hard that I'm like, sorry, bro. Like, uh, have a couple words. Like, like, like text. I can just send back quickly. It's like, call me if I'm available, but I may miss your call. You could have an automated setup like that. I yeah, feel and like. I want if to be able to text you. Podcast, be like, sorry, I it. can't look at texts. I want to yeah, call me. That's it. And then, like, yeah. you just pop your SIM card in if you need your your iPhone. Obviously, the uh, the smartphone's very convenient. It's a computer in your pocket. You need that. But now we need analog cards and analog phones. We're back. Meanwhile, do you think? Do you believe Drew? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna back. So Drew Barrymore, her, she's sitting here in her kitchen, and it's just a regular ass kitchen. And people are like, "Oh my god, so relatable! Look at her. She's just like us. She's just like us." And uh, that TikTok kind of popped for her. Of her just in her kitchen. They like, like her uh, spice rack. Her spice rack was like also out next to it. 
It does look like yeah. a pretty regular kitchen. Like there's, I don't. Oh, look it's at the that. most normal kitchen ever. And you're it looks like a, it looks like a, it looks like a, almost like a, a student's kitchen, like almost like in a in a shared space. Yeah, like a couple students live here and use this kitchen. Do you think it's like her second house? Like this, is like her third house somewhere else? Like it's like a cottage that was in the family forever. That's what it feels like. She's me. worth a hundred and twenty-five million dollars. You're never gonna see the real kitchen now if there is a real kitchen. Not even because the next one, bro. The next one, she was like making tea in an RV, and she's got like a hat and a flannel on. She's dressed like you. The only thing, like, the only thing chill. I'll say about it that that it could, because I will say she already has a strong rating. Like, there's no reason to convince us. We all. Like who doesn't like Drew Barrymore? From- well, you like Drew Barrymore, right? Yeah, of course. You know what? I I do. You know why? Bro, she married she Tom to. Green. Yeah, she married Tom Green. She married Tom Green. That's she, like, crazy. She bro. married Tom Green when she was also super famous. Like she was. She married Tom Green. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. So they she got already married. got a high rating with us. So maybe she's been famous for so long that she's immune to the whole like i need all the best stuff like she just doesn't care it's like she was an et as a child like she's yeah been first famous. movie's et bro <laughs> let's huge. go dude yeah. and, she, and she ate that shit up yes yeah she ate that shit up that so you know what we back her when uh, was the last time you to... watched et bro uh, recently Recently, you know what I just watched, and this is a really funny one. That sorry, I have to say this because I was watching it the other night, and I I completely forgot about how much this movie was watched by me. You ready for this one? Yeah. Robin Hood. Not Men in Tight. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman. And Bro, I, I, I have not. I have not put that on in twenty five years. I forgot that I watched this movie on VHS a thousand fucking times because I even like they break. We it, had like, the, the toys. The whole we opening the toys. scene. The whole opening scene when he gets out of prison with Morgan Freeman and they crack open that fruit and eat. I'm like, oh, like I remember everything and I for completely forgot about the movie. I don't remember. Anything, I need but, to have that moment because I would have the moment. I was like, I was like, oh my god. This played such a huge part of my life, and I completely forgot about this movie. But we ate that shit up for like a year and a half, like it was buying huge. But Kevin Costner coming with a Robin Hood movie, we bought toys. <laughs> yeah, man. Do you know how many Kevin Costner toys I had? I had like one with like Robin Hood, where he's got like a long bow, and then where he's got like a a crossbow, and then I had a, a Morgan Freeman toy. But isn't that funny? I completely for- I completely forgot about that movie, and it came on cable, and I taped it. And I was in bed last night, and I was like, oh, I'm going to put it on. And I was like, it was. This is this conversation from 1994. <laughs> Robin Hood starring Kevin Costner came on cable, and I taped it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm going analog, dude. I watched yeah, cable. You really going analog? You know what you'd like then? What? Smegma appliances. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, I mean, that's that, the most analog, No, bro. they're pretending. They're out here pretending right now. They are, but there's no, you can't connect your TV to it. You know what I don't like? Sometimes I'm like, I'm in my house. And I'll like I'll like go to like connect my Bluetooth on my Steam Deck to my a- a- AirPods or something, yeah. and I get like a notification. It's like Samsung fridge. I don't have a Samsung fridge. Oh, like, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Samsung fridge. Yeah, yeah. bro, you want to connect? Yeah, you want to connect the Steam Deck to the Samsung fridge? And I always think about what the fuck are we doing? What's what's going on? What's the Bluetooth? What is it? You must know though. What's what? Why would you connect to the fridge Bluetooth? What's the function? Haven't you seen these Samsung? T- these Samsung fridges are great. We've in fact covered these Samsung fridges. They got AI fridges now, with TV screens in them and shit. If it's so saying. intelligent artificially, why does it need my Bluetooth? Because it wants to uh, cast whatever you have on your phone onto your fridge. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's why you can also. That's look- what it is, so that you can so you can screen mirror it, <laughs> or you can control it from your phone. That's why. Also, when you control your fridge, bro. Were you controlling your fridge? You're controlling the. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We've the gone temperature, too far. dude. We've gone too far. They have AI ovens now. This is what I'm saying. I what's want the AI oven, but what's the AI oven going to do? They are like, oh, pizza's pretty hot. We're going to switch to broil for a couple minutes. Yeah, to get the top yeah. cheese melted. It now we're good. It. it does. It does everything for you. It figures by it what? Out. Looking at it, it was. I don't know. The AI figures it out, bro. That's what I'm saying. With these tunnels we talked about before. I meant to say to you, that's how we get. That's how AI gets us, man. They take over these these fast food tunnels, these food. The other things are sending. They're going to be sending things to each other. I won't even know. It's all underground. Having the screen on the fridge, most unnecessary. The screen is on the fridge. What are you putting there? It's a it's a recipe, I assume. Sure, or Drew Barrymore. That's like that's or the Drew Barrymore coolest. TikToks. Like you're watching TikTok on there or something. <clears throat> You're yeah, be late for TikToks is perfect for TikToks. Right, it's a good little. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm out. But like, other than that, so like, but that's not what they're selling. Like, uh, P 
people with? What are they? What are they getting them with? I think there's the, no, Is there a speaker? Is it going to play noise? Is it going to play music? <laughs> I have to tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm really saying to you, it, it doesn't do anything. It's not. It's, it's over. What do they call this? Where they like over? You want an AI fridge it's where like it keeps over track engineered. of? It's over engineered. It's like I don't need. What if this. it keeps track of your calories and then you go to open the fridge and you go to open? It's like negative, negative. You have exceeded <laughs> caloric intake for the day. I could use that. I could. I am that. artificial intelligence smegma. I have determined that you have exceeded your caloric expectations for the day. I could use that because I did go and get myself. I went to Sweden over last. I went to Sweden. What is this? A Tim? Are you about to Tim Tam slam? No, no, I didn't get a Tim Tam. I went to Sweden and I got a, I got a damn, a damn, a damn cake. Bring that in closer. What is that? I don't know, bro. Yo, I don't know the Sweden, yo, bro. bro. Damn. Officially Swedish. Chocolate crunchy caramel. What's that looks that? sick, bro. Yeah. Uh, so I went to Sweden, aka IKEA, where everything they're like, oh, come to the Swedish checkout counter. Here's oh, this. they have that's this is IKEA snacks. <laughs> yeah, I just went to IKEA and I bought a cake, a dame cake. How would you say a dame? Dame. This is a Swedish almond cake with chocolatey and crunchy caramel. Sounds like. Damn. Whoa, this is how. What's going on here? Oh my god! What? <laughs> it's just in the box, like with no covering. Like I just let me see it. it. Like put my fit. well. You opened up the box, and that was the there. Box this hold on, hold on, and, and with a plate on it. There's a little cardboard plate here. First of all, that that pick, which you're holding, I've, this is rare. What you're holding yeah. looks more interesting and appealing to me than what was on the box. That <laughs> looks like a stack of pancakes, bro. It's it's like if you can see the edge of the of it. Oh, that's fire. Good. So uh actually, like, why isn't there uh, any the, the company first came out, it was called D A J M and it was pronounced die, like the beginning of diamond. But now it's dime. Dame in most countries. Marketed it as a uh, dime. I'm going to call it damn. It's so funny, dude. Th that came out and it was pronounced dime. Spelt the same way, but then they just changed it because the rest of the world was calling it dame. So they're like, yeah, fine. It's dame. <laughs> is, it, is it actually Swedish or is it just like, yeah. Yeah, Sweden, Sweden and Norway. Yo, you can call it a dime bar. It's it's uh that's pretty sick, bro. A dime bar. You can start using instead of snapples, you can start using this as for pickups. But like you want some of this dime right here? Yo, it looks is it like uh like soft like a pancake? Compare it to a uh, a May West. Oh. Not as fluffy. Not as fluffy as a May West. It's more dense. It's more dense, yeah. And it's got Whoa. some crunch to it. And I give it a I give it a ten on ten. It's delicious. That's sick. I might have to hit up Ikea and get me one of those, boy. Boy. Ikea. So everyone listening, by the way, it's a dime bar, D-A-I-M. And uh, apparently it's uh, Swedish. And uh, yeah, it looks like a little like a, a, a pancake type treat thing. I wouldn't even call that a bar. Would you call that a bar? Is it a bar? Because that's what people are like. That's what. Yeah. Dime bar. I guess you can get a small version of it. You got the whole, you got the family size of Merc that. That's pretty lit, dude. It is a bar. Look at this. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Look at this guy. This guy's analog, bro. Look at this. Now I see. It looks Look how like analog this guy is reading the nutrition <laughs> on the box, dude. Take out your phone, bro. <laughs> it looks like a. Take out your phone and take a picture of it. My phone it, will tell you how much no, it is. It looks like um, it was a, like a score bar almost. Yeah. See right there? Yeah. And they turn the score bar. You know, it's like a it's a score bar, but like now we're gonna make a score ice cream. Oh, we're gonna make a score cake. Mm, I see what they did. They made they did they, they they did a whole thing with it here. Yeah, they took they, 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 took, they, the, took, the they took the bar and like here's a cake now. Instead. They took the bar and they made a cake with the bar. By the way, the damn cake got destroyed. You know what? I'm actually surprised at how slow it's going. You looks like you're about forty percent. I gotta done. stop her when I get diabetes on this episode. Because that looks like serious, dude. <laughs> it looks like it's it's it's, it's giving like you a run so, for your money, boy. So dense and really good, and I, I I expected it to not be that good. I want to ask you one thing. Um, 
Did you see there's a couple of coffee coffee controversies that I'm curious about? McDonald's just just canceled free co- their free coffee cards. So how do they cancel their free coffee cards? How like, do they? No, they, no, they, they you, can go, like, you can go to the app. This is where the opposition of analog. They're like, okay, you can go to our app now, and they're like, no, nah, sorry, we're not gonna. Those some woman had four hundred cards. So there's a couple problems here. This 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 or what? Some guy had more than four. Yeah, this came up. No, it's her name is Vinny. It's interesting. Oh, okay. A woman had four hundred cards. Now, those 400 cards, each card is if you get, I believe, it's six coffees or eight coffees, you get a free coffee. Yeah. She Ooh, had okay. all of these completed. Now, the problem with this this woman is when you got your card with a free coffee, yeah. you then chose to buy hundreds of coffees Crazy. and earn literally hundreds of free coffees. And now McDonald's doesn't honor those anymore. And she's mad about it. So it's not fair. Uh, she tried to use them and they told her they're no longer accepting them. They expired and there's no expiry date on them. She has 416 cards worth of free coffees that have zero value. What was her now. plan, you think? With this, like, just but what's ha- crazy about that is like every day that you went there just and you it. had five free coffees and you bought a coffee. Just use the it. question was, if not now, when? then when? <laughs> if not here, then where? What are you doing? Was she just so big- she got the 400 free coffees. It's crazy. Was she big timing? Just like when you would go out for dinner with her, or like go over to her house and like have tea or something. She's like, oh, oh, by the way, coffee on me. She'd like, here you go. But she doesn't do that. She never traded them in. That's just mental illness we're talking about. Right? That is. It is fucking 400 free so coffees. That's on her. Sitting, that's crazy. Like when you have them stacked up, like you got hundreds like this. And like, that's the picture. It's crazy. And, and then it, it, it led me to this other story where Tim Hortons, big coffee, uh, big coffee guys. Um, I also got in trouble for my Tim Horn story the other day. My wife sent me a text last night being like, she's listening to the podcast. She's like, you had three pizzas without me at Tim Hortons? And I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the car pizzas. She's knowing about it now. Uh, she's like, I'm like, I'm like, well, you listen to the podcast? I was like, why are you listening? To it? You're not even a demographic. Like, it's not for you. Like, that's for the boys. That's for the double dusted crew. Or the strong and wrong crew, whatever you want to be. Bag of burgers. I don't know. But... Um, they sent out an email. Be, like they do this roll up the uh, the rim. If you live in Canada, it's like roll up the rim and you can win prizes, like free coffees or. Yeah, you get whatever. the coffee. You roll up you the rim of the coffee, yeah. and and there's a prize there. I literally know someone who won a car. Really? I know a person who won a car. That's crazy. I, and they I don't want to ever want anything other than a free coffee. Yeah. They want a car. That's they so got sick. it. They literally got a coffee. What they kind of rolled car? up the rim. I believe it was like a, a a Ford Escort or something. It was like a little. Yeah. Uh, Who cares? Free car. But it's fucking sick. thirty thousand dollar car or something. That's really at the true. time. Wow. Yeah. I wish I won a car. That'd be sick, right? Imagine yeah. you rolled up the rim and you got a car. I always imagine stuff like that. What would you do? I'd I'd I'd, uh, I'd accept. You sell it. the car? No, 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 no. That'd be my analog car. I'd ask for an analog version. I'd be like, give me this one. Yeah, and I would. Yeah. Uh, you want you want the analog windows, by the way. If you ever uh, find yourself submerged in water, yeah, power windows is not the move. Power. How about having control over the speed that you open and close? What if you're getting attacked? I can close my window faster than the power power can. Like someone comes at you, they're coming to get you. But you really think, eh? Me? You really think? I've dude. been thinking. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. really think you're the, you think you're that you think you could roll up a window faster than me. Yes. Bro, no shot. A, like, bro. You never even had a car your that had that. Long. Yes, I did. You never even had a car yeah, that did yeah, that. In fact, what you know, car? Your car or your parents? No, my car. You did not have that. I car. 100%. I had, you know what I had? What car? What'd you have? I had the Toyota Yaris two door analog car to the fucking max, bro. When I sat that thing, it was like a clown car. You bro, know I, had a, I had a Honda Civic. That's I had a nothing. Honda Civic. Look up a two door. And Toyota you're saying Yaris. my arms, you should see. You should see the joint between my shoulder and my elbow. And when I'm turning that window, what it is, it looks like no, fucking the, the machinery. Act, it the, looks like the, it I'm, looks like fine crafted dwarven machinery. No. The way my arm fucking no. sh- 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 
Trust you, me, dude. You have too much emotion. Your arms are too long. It's not it doesn't work for you. In you fact, don't understand. It's Donnie fucking, is a short king. It's like will a probably snap. Be it's, like, all of us. it's like a snap. The way it works, it's yeah. crazy. The way it pulls it, it's it, it goes faster than you would ever imagine. It looks like a fucking steam train. A steam. Yeah, let's a steam agree to disagree. But let's agree that if you had an electric window, it would be much slower trying to get that window up. Like you're fucked. Like if someone, it's like it's like yeah. if someone's trying to close the electric window, they're getting you. You're getting. Nah, bro, ass. catch me in a Smegma mobile, hundred percent before you'll catch me in a fucking Tesla. Well, Tim Hortons is giving out free shit, and uh, by accident, they're emailing people you want boats. And uh, this is funny to me because they're like, someone's like, oh, I want, they're like, I want a boat. They hit their friend. I'm like, oh, I want this thing. They're like, ah, uh, me too. I was like, oh, there's something wrong here. I'd be so annoyed if I'm like, but I want a boat. My friend's like, me too. I want a boat. I'd be like, no, you didn't win a boat too, dude. We didn't both win a boat. And then if you, I'd be so mad, I'd be like, fuck, bro. What's funny about this is that they're like, uh, but people are really mad about this. They're like, just so oh. everyone knows, they 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 do a roll up the rim to win thing, and they messaged people saying that they want a boat. That was what they want, and that obviously there's an issue because they uh, they did it to a lot of people. It was a fifty five thousand dollar boat, which surprisingly is like not that crazy of a boat. But then everyone has to act all up in arms about it. They're like, I waited all day. To hear back from them when you all know like you deep down you know that you're not getting this boat that this boat wasn't meant for you they fucked up someone in marketing mm -hmm. made a mistake remember the know. pepsi jet they made that whole documentary about it <laughs> yeah yeah exactly but that, that guy that guy gamed the system in a way that was insane and that was back when things were analog and you you were able to do stuff like that now they're too buttoned up you know yeah they're buttoned up big time bro. Yeah. well not really actually they're sending the wrong email to everyone but they don't give a fuck but like hearing people talk about it, they're so upset. They're like they're they're like going into Facebook groups and like I can't believe they made me think I was getting a boat that I didn't buy. And they're just they go the extra mile because they, they think they're probably going to sue them. I'm like this is going nowhere. I'm sorry. Like you got to you know that and that McDonald's coffee, the free coffee thing. I remember back in the day. Yeah. Um. Uh, we were growing up. We'd have friends. Some friends worked at Subway, mm. and the move was to <clears throat> like. The free sub cards. Remember the sub club cards? Yeah. They would like cut off like a whole section of the ribbon of those stickers and bring cards. And because those numbers, you don't want the numbers to be in order. We would like mix the numbers and make all these subway cards. So many times I'd go to subway. I had like five free six inch cards on me. Those are big, you know, mm -hmm. or like two 12 inches and a six incher. And you bring those cards, and all you have to do is buy a drink or something. Who you wish know? you had a 12 inch on her? Sure. Well, if I had two 12 inch right now, bro, <laughs> you wouldn't be here. You'd be on a way. You don't even. You don't even want to know what I would do with a fucking six right now, bro. <laughs> you don't even want to know what I would do with a six, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, listen, Forever Chemicals allegedly are in prime, and let's end it at that. Uh, huge shout out to everyone. Uh, thanks for listening, Donnie. Thanks also for listening, even though you didn't show up. Uh, you really did listen, though, didn't you, bitch? Yeah. And uh, yeah, tell uh, guys, tell your friends about the podcast if you want. Also, let us know, literally, actually, literally, because we do we discuss it endlessly. Uh, double dusted or strong and wrong. Lynch keeps throwing up bag of burgers. We're not wow. down, but he keeps doing <laughs> it. But double dusted, strong and wrong. Like, think about it. Think about it. Let us know. We're listening. We're listening. Submit I submit peace. your answers to us. We'd yeah, like, we'd like to know what the artwork's going to be too. So if you could if you can uh, send us a nice tight package of what you think it should be, with your reasoning, uh, we'll bring it under consideration. Um, everything's a discussion. Everything's so it's, it might be even be double. Oh, well, yo, sick episode. That's what it's called. Everything's a discussion. See, look at this. We can. We're, 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 it's a never ending story, bro. It's, look at this sick podcast name. Never ending story. Sick podcast name. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, peace.